The space between the plates of a parallel plate capacitor is completely filled in two ways. In the first case, it is filled with a slab of dielectric constant K. In the second case, it is filled with two slabs of equal thickness and dielectric constants K1 and K2 respectively as shown in the figure. The capacitance of the capacitor is same in the two cases. Obtain the relation between K, K1 and K2. So in this question, you can see the case 1. So in the case 1, the capacitor is filled with a dielectric constant K. So we can write down the capacitor value which is equal to K into epsilon 0 A by D. This is the capacitance of the first capacitor. And for the second capacitor, you can see that it is a combination, or a series combination. Potential is different across each capacitor. So we can write their combination formula as C is equal to epsilon 0 A divided by D minus T plus T by K. You can use this general formula. And there are two capacitors, which is one is having a dielectric constant of K1 and another one is having a dielectric constant of K2. So, we can write epsilon 0 A divided by D minus T. So, D minus, over here T is D by 2 and D by 2. So, we can write out D minus D by 2 and minus D by 2 for the two capacitors plus T by K. So, the first one that will be T will be T, D by 2. So, D by 2 K1 and for the second one D by 2 K2 will come. So, this term will become 0. So, we can get epsilon 0 A divided by D by 2 is common. We can take outside. Then inside the bracket it will be 1 by K1 plus 1 by K2 will come. So, if you take this 2 on the numerator, you will be getting 2 epsilon 0 A divided by D into 1 by K1 plus 1 by K2. So, in this question, they are asking us to find the relation connecting K, K1 and K2. And besides that, they have mentioned that the capacitance for the case 1 and case 2 are same. Case 1, the capacitance is K epsilon 0 A by D. And for the case 2, the capacitance is 2 epsilon 0 A divided by D into 1 by K1 plus 1 by K2. Let us equate 1 and 2. So, we will be getting K into epsilon 0 A by D which is equal to 2 into epsilon 0 A by D. Let us cancel the common terms. So, we will get K is equal to 2 divided by 1 by K1 plus 1 by K2. So, once you simplify this, we will be getting 1 by K1 plus 1 by K2 will be equal to 2 by k. We can leave it in this like this or we can simplify it further. The final answer will become k1 k2 divided by k1 plus k2 which will be equal to we are taking the LCM. So, it will be um, so k will be equal to 2 into k1 k2 divided by k1 plus k2. This is a final answer.